One man was able to win the hearts of millions with his kind smile. His parental compassion and open-handedness that have always been extended to provide love, even after his passing. An extraordinary man, his early age passion for charity and longing to give made him a living legacy for humanity. Who hasn't heard of the instant responsiveness of Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud? May Allah have mercy on him. To the needs of the poor or people with special needs within the kingdom or around the world. Sultan did not leave until he helped us connect with our humanity. Sultan did not leave until he empowered the deprived and humbled the noble. 20 years ago, in the month of Shaban, 1415, 1995, the Royal Decree number A77 was issued to create the Sultan bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud Foundation to provide humanitarian services that support the righteousness, health, and well-being for those in need. The Humanitarian City aims to be a comprehensive, proactive, and up-to-date organization that provides social welfare, health, and comprehensive rehabilitation to people with special needs, the elderly, and the needy in all categories. I hope that officials of Sultan bin Abdulaziz Humanitarian City continue giving and that every year be better than the previous because we are in dire need of prosthetics and orthotics. I could not walk or move my hands. And now, thanks to God Almighty and thanks to their efforts, I have exceeded more than 80% of treatment stages. Honestly, I describe this city as an international city because we found in it all services where there were patients who have been treated in centers outside Saudi Arabia and did not get the results I have after treatment in this city. My name is Mohammed Al Sharif, former officer. I suffered from a car accident before nearly 10 years, which caused me multiple injuries in body, and the main injury was in spine that caused me hemiplegia. And I had received treatment in several hospitals inside and outside the kingdom. But unfortunately, the initial diagnosis was I hit sever the spinal cord, and this will cause permanent disability and lack of movement and to lower limbs and no sense. The last station in my treatment journey was in Germany, before I came to the city of Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city. Physician and I had simple conversation in Germany, and I cannot never forget his words. I want you not to waste your time and to focus on the movement of your upper limbs and strengthen your hands, because the lower are impossible to move again. Of course, lost me hope I have, and then I came to the Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city. And thanks to God, after a period of two months of treatment, very simple movement began in my right feet, and the movement began to rise. Thanks to God Almighty, and thanks to Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city, movement strengthened gradually, and specialists continued to treat me so I could move my lower limbs stand up and go few simple steps, and my morale increased a lot. 
I was keen to support injured people like me. And I have had job opportunities in the Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city after I had been referred to retire from air defense forces due to injury. Now I'm in charge for patient support group and try to shorten them off and tell them if you can find a sophisticated place for treatment, just like Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city, then you have to care for yourself. And God willing, you'll be recovered. The humanitarian city also aims to support leading research projects in the field of human services, medical, science, and technology in collaboration with prestigious research centers around the world. The icon project of the humanitarian city is known for its shape that looks like a cluster of wheat with seven buildings and an additional administration building. Sultan bin Abdulaziz humanitarian city is one of the largest medical rehabilitation centers in the world. It contains a comprehensive medical laboratory and radiological services, operating rooms for major and minor surgeries and a center for medical rehabilitation. The city also has a child development center and a center for early intervention to help children with physical disabilities and growth impairments in addition to other complex health problems. The total construction cost for Sultan bin Abdulaziz's humanitarian city was over a billion Saudi rials. God bless his soul and inhabit the gardens of delight. May Allah facilitate things of his children and facilitate their world and afterlife things after what we suffered. There are 1,246 completed housing units finished and completed, distributed over several regions in the kingdom. The foundation planned to construct typical modern housing units, fully furnished and equipped, to provide all possible services to families in need. Every residential project included complete infrastructure and support services, as well as necessary facilities such as mosques, schools, health and social centers. The cost of completed residential units reached 400 million Saudi rials. We were living in desert, and our children didn't receive education. Thanks to God, our children studied, and now we are in good grace. Thanks to God, and thanks to Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz. Ask God to bless his soul and help his children to walk on his path, God willing. I pray to God to forgive Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz and place him in the heavens because I got a house thanks to his guidance and praise and thanks be to God. Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz provided us with a house in a time when we were in desperate need for housing. Years went by and the symbol of good deeds is still constantly seeking to stay close to those in need. His farsightedness led him to adopt more charitable initiatives that aim to help people help themselves. Sultan bin Abdulaziz, may Allah bless his soul, established a number of research funds and specialized prizes, awarding initiatives for the rehabilitation of people with disabilities, elderly and heart disease research, and more. In addition to providing awards, he adopted unique initiatives, such as Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz International Prize for Water and Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz Prize for Quran Memorization in Asia-Pacific countries. Sultan bin Abdulaziz's medical and educational communication program, Medunet, provides telecommunications and information technology services in health and education sectors in the form of several unique packages like telemedicine, video conferencing, and multimedia communication services, integrated health information systems, 
distance learning, networks design and processing, and the design and application of safe virtual networks. Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz Center for Science and Technology, SciTech, was established to promote knowledge through the concept of experimental learning and education through entertainment and education through observation to cultivate curiosity and experimentation among the youth of different age groups. The construction cost of SciTech nearly reached 270 million Saudi rials, and His Highness has bequeathed the center to King Fahd University of Petroleum and Minerals in Dharan in 1426 E. 2005 M for the benefit of all people in Saudi Arabia and the Gulf. I congratulate you all on the job that has been assigned to you. I am confident that you will invest all possible efforts to make this foundation a leading humanitarian institution on the local, regional and international level. I gave you this huge responsibility, and I ask of all of you to be mindful of Allah in carrying your duties, and I pray to Allah to guide us in achieving our mission in the best way possible and grant us all with his blessings. I call upon you all in this meeting. Let's stay unified in following his path to assure that both his name and his projects become a beacon that help guide others throughout time everywhere. And we are committed to dedicate sincere efforts to enrich these projects and to drive it to bigger and broader horizons and to maintain Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud Foundation as a source of good deeds, virtue and kindness, a destination for the underprivileged and needy without any discrimination towards religion, race, gender or color, because this is how the Sultan of the Good Deeds was. And those were his wishes and directives. Prince Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud Foundation, a star in the sky of goodness.